Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to connect to SQL Server. This is Jesse Sims with SQL Seek. Let's get started. So today guys I'm actually going to show you how to connect to SQL Server using three different methods. The first and probably most common way is to use SQL Server Management Studio. Once you've opened it and hit this connect object, you'll be shown this connect to server screen. Here you'll need to choose what you're actually connecting to. In this case we're going to connect to the database engine and the server name. You can either type in the server name here if you're actually on the server that has the SQL instance, you can type in localhost or period. And choose the authentication method, which you can use Windows or SQL. In this case, we're going to use Windows. And then hit connect. And as you can see, we have actually connected to SQL Server. No big red flags, nothing yelling at us. It all looks good. The second way is to use SQL command through a command prompt window. The syntax is SQL cmd and then dash s this is for the server name make sure it's a capital s not a lowercase s um, you can type in localhost here as well which is what we're going to do and then dash d for the database name and we're just going to use master dash e is what we're going to actually use to authenticate which is our windows and then dash q is for the query make sure you put it in quotes and we're just going to return the server name here to actually show it connected and it did work. The last way I'm going to show you is using an OVC. You can go under Control Panel, System Security, and Administrative Tools and locate the data source ODBC. Here you can create a user or a system DNS, click Add, and then choose what type of ODBC connection you're creating, SQL Server or SQL Server Native Client. Here you'll need to actually enter the name of the ODBC. This is not the server name, but a name for your ODBC and description you'll probably want to use so that you don't forget why you made the OWC connection and under the server name you can enter local host if you're connecting to an instance on the box you're on. You need to choose the authentication method and what your default database will be in this case we'll just use master. Hit next, finish and then test connection. Yes it worked so we are good we have connected to SQL Server three different ways. Thank you for watching this video.